Hi, this is Dan Shuck at Glass Half Question. So tell me, is your glass half empty or half full? Do you find your view on life is in conflict with your friends and coworkers? Are you concerned that the world seems to be so polarized right now? What about yourself? Are you polarized? In this video series, we're gonna talk about perspective and how you can develop the skills to become happier and more successful by mastering the art of practicing perspective. This is the heart of my Glass Half Question project, and also the theme of my children's book for grown-ups, A Glass Half Empty or Half Full, which you can find on Amazon or barnesandnoble.com. Now what do I mean by perspective? This is about how we each see the world and what we each believe is true. Sometimes we all get a little confused about what the truth is. That seems almost ridiculous at times, but there are good reasons why this can be confusing. Truth is based on facts. Facts are scientifically provable things in life that we all have to agree on because they're the same for everybody. It's a fact that I am six foot, one inch tall. It is a fact that coffee is made from coffee beans. It is a fact that George Washington was the first president of the United States. It doesn't matter how we feel about any of those statements. They are provable and generally not controversial statements. We have a social agreement about facts. Once a fact has been accepted into our shared understanding of the world, it just becomes this boring thing that we all just move on and agree with. However, we don't all have to agree with how we feel about those facts, and this is where perspective comes in. Perspective is the way that each of us interprets the facts and what feelings, biases, or implied meanings we get out of those facts. So, someone might have a perspective that I am too tall, or that coffee doesn't taste good, or that George Washington didn't deserve to be the first president. Now, I don't happen to agree with any of those perspectives, but it is possible for me to understand that someone could feel that way. Perspectives are often based on a person using a few different facts to assemble their feelings about something. So a child looking at me trying to climb into a bounce house jumper made for little kids might look at the fact that I am 6'1 and form a perspective that I am too tall, and that child would probably have a good point. Sometimes we can disagree on perspectives because we don't have the same set of basic facts to work from. If I were asked if I were too tall, I'd say no. If I were asked if I were too tall for the bounce house, my perspective might be changed. But perspectives are not just based on facts. They are also built upon existing perspectives we each hold. This is where we can start to get confused about what is truth. If that child's perspective that I was too tall for the bounce house is further influenced by a perspective that adults don't like to bounce, the child might have a much stronger feeling that I should stay away from the bounce house, whereas I have the perspective that bouncing is awesome, and I might not feel as strongly about being too tall for the bounce house. So perspectives can be subjective. They're based on each person's knowledge of facts, and then their pre-existing perspectives. Two people with very different backgrounds are bound to have very different experiences and perspectives, and could easily land on relatively different views on the same thing. Over time, over a lifetime, it can be challenging for any of us to keep straight what are the facts we know and what are the perspectives we hold, and this all gets mashed up in our minds as each of us builds a view of the world. Over the next week, try to pay attention in your thoughts and discussions to see if you can figure out what are facts versus what are perspectives. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how you can use this power of perspective to your advantage. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and kind of fun. And be sure to click on the subscribe button now to make sure you get the next videos in this series. My website is www.glasshalfquestion.com. And if you go there, you'll find the full catalog of these videos and the rest of my content. Leave me a comment here if you have any questions or related thoughts. And please share this video with anyone you know that you think would appreciate this, or perhaps someone you know that could use a little extra help with perspective. Also, feel free to leave me comments here if you have questions or ideas. I appreciate the feedback. And remember, keep practicing perspective.